friends, Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by today for today's little project. He's a cute little stash buster. It's my little octopus or a spider. I made him in black for the Halloween, so he's a spider. You can change it all around. It's kind of like my worry buddy and my octocat had a baby. Because Evie has been bugging me. When I made these, my squishy little worry buddies, she said, awesome, is that going to be an octopus? Well, no, he's done. It's like, well, can't you just add legs? I said, well, not really. He's totally done. He's all done. So I went, okay, I'll make, well, you need to make me an octopus, and I want him to be purple. So I made her a purple one. Here he is. So now she can have him. She's been bugging me and bugging me and bugging me, but there's my octocats. There's my worry buddies. And now you put them together, and you get an octopus. Or my spider, he has creepy red eyes. I love him. But let's get started. I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel. If so, please click that button to subscribe. Thanks. This is Karen Simply Soft. This is a Red Heart Super Saver, one of the stripes. And this is Karen Simply Soft. This is the Dark Heather. I like the stitches to be nice and tight, even though this recommends a five and this is a five and a half. I'm using my four anyway, because this is one of my favorite hooks and I wanted my stitches to be nice and tight. There's a couple of safety eyes if you are so inclined as to put eyeballs on him because it would be super cute just being alone or if you wanted to embroider eyes if you're really good at making the cute, really cute little eyes like for dolls. That would be awesome on here. I'm just do an easy peasy magic circle. Bam. There we go. Now in our magic circle we want six single crochets. One, and I'm going to mark my first stitch because I always do. You guys know that. I love my stitch markers. And total of six in our magic circle. And there's number six. See how fast round one is. We can pull our tail in and close up our circle and now we're going to work in the next row is we're going to do an increase so that is two single crochets in every stitch that we just made so we'll end up with an increase of up to 12 stitches so there's my first one there's two in the first stitch two single crochets in each stitch around and number 12. So that's round two. Please remember that it really helps my channel when you watch the video all the way to the end. And round three is another increase. We're going to single crochet in the first stitch. Move our stitch marker. And then two single crochets in the next stitch. And that will increase up to 18. And that's our sequence. One single crochet and two in the same stitch for next, all the way around. And there's my last two stitches for my increase. So now we have 18 stitches. So we have 18 stitches in a nice little circle. All right, round four is another increase. We're gonna go up to 24. So the very first one will have two single crochets in that first marked stitch. And then make sure you mark the first stitch that you did, which would be this guy right here. And then the next two stitches are normal, just one single crochet in each. One, two. And then two singles in this stitch. And single, single. That's our sequence all around. Two singles as an increase. And single, single. And my last repeat of two single crochets and a single in the next and a single in the last. So our circle just keeps getting a little bit bigger and bigger obviously we're making his head from the head down. Round five, I'm going to do 
single crochet in the very first stitch and move our marker as usual. So the first three stitches are going to be single crochets. So there's one and here's a single crochet number two and single crochet number three and the fourth stitch will then be our increase. So two single crochets and that's our sequence all the way around. One, two, and three and then an increase of two in the same stitch. And there's my last increase, two stitches. So now we are increased all the way up to 30 and now our single crochet all the way around is for the next round. Just single crochets all the way around in this, every stitch all the way around, no more increases. There's my last two, one and two. So we're just going to build up a little bit right here. So we're going to put kind of a ball, a ball that's kind of like this guy, but we won't close him up. Just did round six. So we want to do four more rounds exactly like round six. So a total of five rounds of just single crochets all the way around. So this will be my second round and I'll meet you after you have all five done. couple of stitches and round my fifth round of single crochet which is also round 10 of the total project and we have like a little bowl working on his head right here so now we get to decrease a little bit because we're done making the flat part of his head we're going to decrease back down to 24 because we're at 30 right now so the first three stitches will be single crochets there's number one And there's number two and number three. Single crochet two together for that fourth stitch. So we're going to go through, pull through, pull up, go through the next one, blow a yarn over, pull up, three loops on our hook, and pull through all three. Now the next three are single crochets. One, two, three, and another two together reduction. One, and two, pull through all three. That's our sequence all the way around. Two and three, and the last two get single crocheted together. There, now we decrease just a little bit from 30 down to 24. We're going to do that again, going down to 18. So we're going to single crochet the first two. So there is my first single crochet and the next one is a single crochet and the next two will get single crochet two together for a decrease and that's the sequence all the way around one single crochet two single crochet and reduce and there's a single single and reduce the last two stitches our single crochet two together. So see, it's starting to close up just a little bit. Not too drastically, not too fast. So we're right in about in here. Reduce one more time down to 12. So this time is one single crochet. And then I'll do a reduce, a reduction of single crochet two together. One single crochet single crochet two together. That's our sequence all the way around. And my last two are single crochet two together. Reduce. So we're down to 12. And there's the head. Awesome. For the next little part we want to have our stitch markers ready. Especially if you're doing the spider in black or in a gray or anything that's really dark. Especially if you're doing that, you're going to want to have your stitch markers handy so you can find these stitches. But what we are going to do is in our next stitch, which is the one I just took the marker out of, I want to mark the front loop of that. The next eight stitches, we're just going to work in the back loop. So single crochet in the back loop only times eight. One, two, three. Four, 
five. Six. Seven. And here's our eighth one. It's going to be this stitch right here. So I'm going to mark the front loop and then work in the back loop only for number eight. And then the next four, one, two, three, four, to finish this round of 12 are single crochet only. Just single crochets. No reducing, no front loop, none of that. And so now would be about the time that you, you wanted to stuff and put eyes on him, like these guys right here, and you want to stuff his head so he's squishy. Definitely want to stuff it, but eyes are optional. So I know a lot of people like to embroider, and that's just as fun too. So I'm just going to stuff him, and I am not going to put eyes on this one. Then now he's all, he's all stuffed full. Two of our loops are marked, but there's eight front loop only, unworked loops right there. And then we have four single crochets behind it. And this is actually his front. So if you wanted to put eyes on, you want to do where you just did the four single crochets, eyeball, eyeball, wherever you want to put them. But this would be considered his front right here right here, right here. That will be considered his front. So now we get to move on to his legs. So in our first marked stitch, we we'll see I have all eight of them right here. We've made our way back to our first marked stitch. In that stitch I want to slip stitch. Go right into chaining 25. There, now we have a ball with one really long chain. So we're going to make his legs into a curly cube. So in order to do this, with our chain of 25, go into the next chain that's available, the closest to the hook, and slip stitch. And the next is three single crochets in the next chain. And the next chain is a slip stitch. The next one is three single crochets. And that is our sequence all the way up. And I'll show you what we do when we get back to his head. Here's my last set of three single crochets. And when you get down to the bottom, you want to slip stitch into the same stitch you started in. So the mark stitch in this instance. Slip stitch again to close off his leg. So now we have one nice loose curly cute. Not nearly as tight as my worry worms because you want them to be kind of gangly. Now we have to make seven more legs. So the next one starts in the next unworked loop that was your front loop slip stitch. So we slip stitched and then we want to chain the 25 again. 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. And do the exact same thing you did right here in every loop all the way around. All right, right this guy has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven legs. I have one loop still to work. This is one I almost had finished, so I saved his last leg. And so we're going to chain our 25. There's our 25. The first chain you can work through, slip stitch. Three single crochets in the next. And that's the sequence all the way up to the top, just like all the other legs that you just made. There's my last three single crochets. And now I want to slip stitch into that loop that we started with. And he's basically done at this point. 
You wanted to have eyes again. I didn't put eyes on this one, but these guys all do. You just do that right in here, right at this little area in between him's legs. All the legs are all the way around, but there's a little bit of flat spot right there. And basically you're done. If you wish, you can take a needle and just cinch this shut. But it doesn't really hurt anybody. I did, I did close this one up, but I did not close these two up. And it really doesn't make much of a difference. Nothing's going to fall out of it. You're not going to lose your stuffing. So all you have to do is finish this off and weave in your ends. Even easier, you can just tuck them in. Tuck them inside and make sure that this is nice and tight all of your beginning ends. Weave them in and tuck them in the inside of your little guy. So there's my spider slash scary octopus, but he's a scary spider today. Scary spider today because it's almost Halloween. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks, tell all your friends about me, and stop back very soon. Thanks. Bye.